So, uh, that break ended up running a little bit long, but for exciting reasons. So I get up from my desk and I, I'm like, huh, oh, are my glasses foggy? Did I, did I do something wrong? And it turns out that no, it's that my apartment is filled with smoke because the soup that was slow cooking on the stove boiled off and is now on fire. So, uh, that ended up taking a few minutes to, uh, resolve, but, uh, everything is fine and should be good to go at this point. Um, so we are hopping back in with this mission. Uh, it is very difficult, so that should be exciting. There are the Lost. I have not yet done a supply raid mission with the Lost. Uh, we do not have our two most high-level characters because we sent the, uh, Lebedevs off on that Hunt the Chosen mission. Uh, so we are instead bringing a bit more of a motley crew. We've got uh, Diamond, who is uh, now friends with Lockdown, and then uh, Mox and Wildman had um, got along well during their mission, so they are now also a bond pair. Got to uh, level up Mox, gave him a couple of uh, the extra abilities, the Wrath and the Whiplash, so kind of Doing some of the more skirmisher-specific stuff uh, may come back and get some of the other stuff first. Getting the grenade upgrade doesn't seem very good when you can only carry one grenade, and tactical rigging lets you carry a second item, but not apparently a second grenade, so that doesn't seem great. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our Reaper for scouting and are continuing to uh, level up our mech. Uh, we should actually... We should have enough to build our reinforced frame for the mech now, so that's nice. Uh, but that leaves us without enough for the axe, but that's fine. Um, hopefully we'll get some uh, good supplies from this run, and that'll let us uh, build some other stuff. You know, I was going to switch over to the rocket launcher here, but given the lost, I actually like a flamethrower better. We are a little heavier on explosives than I would like to be, uh, given the lost mission, but not super worried about it. It should still be fine. So we can go ahead and hop on in here. And we'd really like to get through this with as few injuries as possible, because we have got both a facility mission that we want to be able to do, and hunting the uh, chosen assassin. Um, our Templar who has the uh, crazy ability combo is still tired for another day, so we're going to be saving him for uh, either the um, chosen assassin mission or the uh, facility. Let's go get some supplies, guys. Our latest intel suggests Advent ran into problems while airlifting supplies from a secure depot in this area. We have an opportunity All right. to take advantage of So I don't see whether this is one of the Mark okay, Boxes ones or the classic ones. Okay, it is a Mark Boxes one. Mark Boxes with the loss. Interesting. The usual uh, hopping out of the Avenger lag. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we do have full squad concealment. Locate and mark the crates with transport. And we do have a Reaper, so... Let's actually... Push forward with this guy first, just to, uh... Or push forward with someone to here, just to give the, uh... Reaper a better walking path. So we don't really know where all we're going to have to go, but we do know that the first crate is here, so I guess we just push through this building for that. <laughs> that window is ajar, so the mech can just kind of casually hop through it like that. That's how that works. Volk says I am to obey. All right. And can go look through this door. Moving as ordered. And just casually destroy that corpse in a horrifying manner. So we're going to have to go through this section, it looks like, if we go through here. And these buildings are interestingly structured. This is a, a structure they didn't really have in the vanilla maps of these kind of 
stone hallways between buildings. I think it's actually fairly realistic to how, like, old brick buildings are built, though, which is kind of cool. Oh. Uh, so let's move our sniper up and just put... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if there's no sight lines anywhere. We're just going to have to come out of this building carefully. So... Let's run forward as though they are going to start marking packages quickly. Because I don't think there's any way we expose enemies going through this section of this building. We can certainly defile some corpses, though, so that's nice. Got three armor on this mech is wonderful. Affirmative. Yeah, I don't understand this mission type well enough to know whether moving forward quickly is valuable or not. I know they can still start marking boxes while you're in concealment. So there's probably some value, but it's not sure exactly how it works. All right. This is a little risky, but not too bad with a Reaper. There is nowhere to hide. Alright, so first part of the Lost. And we can just uh, push through this door pretty effectively. Um, try not to trigger these guys. So let's go ahead and get her up here to open the door next turn. I know where you are. And then everyone else should be able to get to the door pretty effectively. So let's not put anyone in direct line of sight uh, through the door, but just kind of line up outside. As a design note, um, I actually really appreciate the design of the Reaper. One of the things that is um, was kind of a weird tension in vanilla XCOM 2 was you had these rangers who have um, the uh, permanent cloak ability. But because they had the permanent cloak ability, you actually wanted to them to be the last person out of the squad revealed. Which meant that when you were scouting in concealment, they were the, your worst scout instead of your best scout. Which was a pretty weird and unintuitive way for it to work. Um, and the Reapers instead... Wait, so... I can't actually see what's going on in this room. Is there not a door here? Okay, there is not a door here. Can the rest of us sneak out past the Lost? Oh, okay, this is just a cash register area, not a full... So there's not much of a way that we get to these guys without triggering the Lost pod. Um... So our options are go all the way back around and try and find another way to the supply crates. So if we go instead through this building, let's say. So they haven't marked this supply crate yet, which I don't remember exactly how it works, but it is possible that they won't actually start marking them until we reveal anyone. So that inclines me to say we'd just be getting such a bad angle here with all these lost coming in on our flank that I'd rather try and move around and come at it from this side. That also looks more likely to be the direction other supply crates are. So it's a little risky because we don't fully understand the mechanics of uh, these supply crates. But let's pull back and come in from a different angle. Anyway, as I was saying about the rangers, it's just kind of nice that reapers are not only uh, the best scouts because they maintain uh, cover afterwards, but they also have the trait where their low detection radius means they actually are the best scout even before you break cover. So it's just kind of nice that they found a way mechanically to make it more consistent who the good scouts are and not have kind of the weird 
keep your stealthy hidden scout in the back to avoid the risk of revealing them. That was true in uh, Vanilla XCOM 2. Oh, we again get to take advantage of the uh, Super Reaper Vision. Yeah, I really undervalued this to start. It's a great ability. Uh, we did only see two members of this pod, it looks like, though. Um, so there is, I believe, a mech with them. All right. So, Mox, you can go open this door. And then that gives us an open door here, so maybe we can set up in this building. But uh, we'll have to scout ahead with the Reaper to uh, investigate. I am trusting you. We get this little half cover plant here. Looks like. I will go. The time for hiding is over. Okay, that is a pod I can deal with. So, real quick. Okay, we've got sight on this first box. We've got another box here. Um, and we can actually get out of this building. Like, if they patrol closest, it might present an issue. But right now, we can filter out and take this cover without triggering them to get the drop on them. So that's nice. This robot being stealthy is very silly. <laughs> I'm all over it. So we're not taking very good tactical positions here, but we're just kind of maneuvering. It looks like the timer probably doesn't start until uh, go, go, go. you're actually revealed. And by timer, I mean Advent doesn't start pulling out boxes until they know you're there. So hopefully this patrol doesn't push in too close for us to uh, take positions inside this area. Good, so they're moving a little ways back. The Lost are activating on them, it looks like. So we'll just get to watch these guys fight each other while we set up. So we want to be really careful that we don't Get vision and accident. Well, I guess this is eating the Overwatch fire. But this is wacky fun. <laughs> that loss did four damage. That is more than I would have expected. Alright. Any, any good remote start? That is a good remote start. Uh... Does it blow up a supply crate? It does blow up a supply crate. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, so we want to really take, like, get as good a setup as possible because we've got a ton of time here. And, um... Alright. So how about you go... I can't get to that high ground without being revealed. Okay, yeah, no one. This high cover will reveal anyone else. So let's put you in this high cover. Just to maximize our vision. Okay, and then everyone else can uh, fan out behind this cover. So we can actually. Um, because mechs don't count as flanked, potentially do an overwatch trick here, where we just set the mech up, overwatch with everyone, and uh, see what happens. As you were. Because they are... If they wander into this guy, he will be visible, so they'll activate, but he is not flanked because he's a mech, so he... Um, doesn't uh, give them free actions. Right. So, Sniper, we don't have great any heavy cover for you, but we'll just put you a little ways back here. 
Double time. And then Ranger can take cover here. Alright, so this is looking like a really good setup. So not going to activate us this turn, but they are... I might not be able to resist that remote start. Oh no, it's getting... <laughs> Alright, these guys are just having fun together. Hit the robot! Hit the robot. I really wish we could remote start that car safely. Alright. So... We've got some exciting things going on. So I, I think one idea that I like is hitting this guy with the Templar and then uh, using the Templar to pick up parry and pick up the package, which is a pretty cool setup. Um, we do need to do something about this mech. So we could... Man, I really want a remote start, but I don't think it's worth it with the loss of supplies. 12 damage. That is ridiculous. And, okay, it's not counting cover. It's just aim minus defense. So we could potentially get some range. What's our actual plan here? Sounds like... I, I feel like we're in go time. We've got a bunch of different things we can do. Uh, this Lancer is too far away to even dash attack us. Um, none, of, none of these guys are actually going to run for cover. Alright, I think your flank shot... Wow, your aim is not good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is my favorite way to start. So we'll start off pulling him in um, with a flank. Accept your fate. And then we'll just go on everyone else. Man, if you had gotten a flanked enemy shot off of that, that would have been embarrassing. Okay, or that would have been... Bullshit, I think, might actually have been the word I was looking for. Alright, so let's go ahead and walk up and, uh... Should I double check that for you? So... Well, it might reveal her. I actually like using uh, Dragonova to get some hollow targeting here. You're not... There's no cover penalty there, right? Just defense? Okay. So yeah, let's pull you up. Just get some hollow targeting on there. And was revealed. But she does get a chance to re-enter. So then we get to go... Overdrive. I think a free action. We're not super worried about it. Alright, then we've got a nice 90% to hit this and uh, get some shred on its armor, which is sweet. Mac v Mac. Might as well just get a quick shot at this. Do I get a bad? If you want them to die, I'll have 
Reload. Alright, uh... I'm pretty comfortable with you taking this kill. Dodge raised. Interesting. So we could have you lightning hands and then long watch is kind of fun. But I think it would just be better to have someone else do it than lose the lightning hands. Alright. So we got this package marked. We'll be able to get this package next turn with Dragonova. I like long watch on her if this uh, stun lancer starts running towards us. Fox, you just finished this guy. We need to get you leveled anyway. Your aim has been very disappointing. Chosen information. Interesting. We still do not have... Uh, we are in desperate need of Illyrium cores right now. We spent those a little too liberally early. So this guy's already uh, having some fun over here. Okay. So these guys are active now. This is not too bad a pod. It's some dangerous enemies, but uh, don't feel like it's anything we can't deal with. Oh, Spectre soaking up our Overwatch sucks, though. That will make it hard to uh, get to those boxes, though. Wow! Uh, those lo- Okay, that was a group attack kind of thing. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1-5. Alright, so you could move up to- You've got Conceal. So you could move up to here, pick up this crate, and then Reconceal? I think is a thing. All right. Sniper, how are your shots? Let's start with that. So you've got shots on all three. Um, all in cover and all good but not guaranteed. Uh, could get the Spectre with that. And yourself with that, so nothing too great there. You've got a flamethrower. You can easily get a flank shot on this viper, which is pretty nice. Yeah, let's just uh, move up to... Oh, you could also get high ground. But not flank? Okay. Flank is still better, then. This unit is relatively active. This looks like a pretty good start. Okay, cool. So that's one down. And we've still got mimic beacons and frost bombs and stuff if anything goes wrong. So could... Clay more of the snack without um, blowing up either package if we want. You don't have any reasonable grapples. I think this snake is actually a higher priority than the specter. Does anyone have good teamwork options? Not really. There's no one we want to, like... So you could run up, run, mark the crate, run back, and then we blow this up, but we wouldn't get to use remote start. Also, it would be vaguely nice to get to this crate, if at all possible. It's not super likely, but in a perfect world. You've got run and gun. Uh, so you can get a shot, but not... So this is double radius, so it wouldn't blow it up if we just hit it with a grenade and explode it normally. It would still provide cover, though, at that point. 
Okay, so let's look at this snake. If we can get rid of its high cover, she is very likely to kill it. So, Renadier, what do you got? You have a grenade, unsurprisingly. So let's actually move the Reaper up. You cannot run. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm not super worried about that right now. Feel like they're uh, already being kept busy. Mark supplies. Oh, that didn't get you close enough to uh, mark the other supplies, though. I should have checked that more closely. Alright, so then you get to... If we move you up and have you kill the snake, that puts you in light cover and the specter could conceivably shoot you. And who's your teammate? You're bonded with Mox, so Mox could give you an extra action um, in order to use a frost bomb. Or use a mimic beacon. Or a frost bomb. Man, we put both of those on you? That's a little rough. Does anyone else have an explosive? So you could clay more. That's pretty funny. And then someone else could take it out with a shot. Would that just kill this guy immediately? It would. Alright, quick question. Let's say we wanted to be greedy as hell. We could have you run up and uh, get that box by using teamwork from Mox. You are also the person with the Mimic Beacon, so that's a little rough. Ranger is not doing a lot right now. Could you throw a grenade far enough to blow up the Viper cover? Looks unlikely off of one move. So you could run and gun up to somewhere and then do it. We've also got teamwork with the sniper, which is not as useful. Oh, but that could be really useful. So if we run you up here, give you teamwork... Run and gun up to here, mark the crate, kill the snake. That is greedy as hell, but I like it. Will do. Alright, and then we have sniper use teamwork. Keep going. And then we have you use Run and gun. I can handle that. You're a hundred percent to kill the snake. So kill the snake. Oh, not quite. Mark the package. Alright, so this is going to be a Mimic Beacon turn, is the sense I'm getting. Oh, that didn't end turn! I could have sworn that in the past teamwork ended turn. Alright. This is the kind of place where the Mimic Beacon can occasionally be a little disappointingly anticlimactic, just because it's such a get-out-of-jail-free card. Um, so let's throw it before we forget. We have marked both these crates. Let's move already. Man, if I had misclicked and moved an extra square there, that would have been a rough one. Alright, um... So who's your teamwork with? Him? 
And he... What do you have? Oh, you have a basic mag cannon. We should have given you a stock. So here's the thing. I'm a little worried about them killing this mimic beacon. Um, and then killing her, which would be really bad. So I kind of want to finish the snake off. Man, for such a great start, this one did not actually end up going that great. So if you move up to here. I move. Not great odds. So we could have her throw a claymore that we land really carefully and then have Mox blow it up. And then move our sniper into a less bad position. No, we really can't move our sniper into a less bad position. Alright, well, this is expending way more resources than I like, but... I think losing our ranger would be a total disaster, so... I'll leave this here. And it's better than using, like, our frost bomb or something. Oh, lost one, yeah. That is one drawback to that plan. Oh, that is a lot of dashers. Oh, that was a miscalculation. Alright, well... And that also happens? Okay, god, this is... There are going to be some injuries on this one. So at least the Mimic Beacon is going to keep these guys off us. But uh, the Lost could totally destroy us at this point. Okay, that's not too much damage. I also don't know if this works on the Lost. Okay, this is going to be a complicated puzzle to solve with this many Lost on the board. I think we may have been a little too greedy in trying to uh, mark crates there. Oh! That's helpful, though. I mean, I'm not sure it'll be enough, but... Man, that's not killing any of them. Shot wide. Damage here. Oof. <laughs> Getting a little toasty here. All right. So here are a few things. She has been injured, and I don't love that. Um, every, all of these guys are in range of this car, which will summon another Lost Swarm, but it deals with enough problems that I'm pretty inclined to do it anyways. So my plan A is... Alright, let's have you get some 100% kills, just to... That is not 100%. That is 100%. Thank you. Clear things out a little bit before we move you back. Running dry. Also a hundred percent. I didn't know you could crit the lost. I kind of felt like you couldn't. I guess it's just that they're unflankable. Right, so then we're gonna pull you back to here. Ranger. Or Reaper. So if you remote start this car, you're the only one of our guys who gets hit right now. 
So let's go ahead and just pull you back a little ways. And then remote start. And this will summon another Lost Swarm, but it's dealing with two actual enemies and a uh, handful of Lost. So I think it's worth it despite that. Alright, so then you get to reload. Sniper. So that Brute, you can't quite kill. 76. Wow, your shots are not great. So which of these are dashers or... I think the Brute is the number one threat right now. I feel light on my feet. It's actually a Dragon Nova. <sighs> I'm never going to stop calling her that. Oh, she's out of actions. Okay, that's fine. I'll go ahead and take a shot here. Ah, the Lost are being more of a problem than expected this mission. To that position. Whiplash. It's free. And basically 75 on everything. Let's go ahead and take out the Brute. We take from the elder stock. And then are just all these normal Lost? Lost. 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 Okay, so none of these are dashers. So, we can just kind of take shots and uh, see what happens. We don't have to worry too much about the details. Good job. And then we can try and have uh, Mox finish off that guy and the other. Oh, but you're out of ammo. Alright, we're reloading this fine. We'll have closer shots next turn. Let's put you in heavy cover here. You're more of a gunslinger anyways. Okay, can we... Do we want to try and get to that? And a Lost Swarm incoming. Don't think any of these guys will be able to attack us this time. That's good. All right, so let's uh, take some 100% shots. 100% to kill. 100% to kill. We 100% to hit, neither of those likely to kill. All right, so we don't know if there are alien pods left on the map or not. Uh, so, Dragon, uh, our Reaper is the only one who could potentially get to this last box. So I think what I like is actually put her back in shadow, even though we'll have to pop it if we mark the box. Okay, and we still can't get close enough to this box. So just run up to this box. And then we don't see any enemies, so we can safely mark it. So that was, um... A bit of, ended up being a bit of a waste, but I still uh, like it as far as um, mitigating risk goes. I think it was a good decision. Uh, so you've got a uh, set full of full ammo and a lot of crit, so I'm pretty comfortable just running you up into the middle of all this nonsense. 100%, 6 to 8, that's not a guarantee. That 97 is, but we can... Let's uh, actually use your pistol a little bit. 100% 4 to 5? Cool. So you're the only one who doesn't have any ammo. Who's keeping score? Yeah, she is spec more as a sniper than uh, as gunslinger, but... Right. So this has a, chance to, a good chance of killing him, and if it fails, it's not the end of the world can finish it off with one of these guys. Same. Not too shabby. 
And last one. This book probably won't kill, but then can have uh, someone else finish it off. I kind of like moving you up here. Do the lost attack robots? I don't even know. Now that is possible that is end of mission. It is not. Okay, so we don't have vision on any more lost. But we can just set up some overwatches. Got pretty good cover to uh, hold position here. Overwatch. Come get some. I will watch. All right, so they get that one crate tragically. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Oh, and we did see, we can see some more Advent in that building. So we'll want to push towards that building to try and wrap up the mission so we're not running over to multiple crates every single turn. You're the first one to miss. You're a disappointment. So here's a question. Do flamethrowers count as explosions? So we don't want to hit that truck. Clear that's just better than shooting them. It was a fun idea, but I think this is going to just be a better plan for what to do with our lives. Uh, not a guaranteed kill, but someone else could finish it off if he doesn't. Alright, so we would like to um, get into fight the pod that's hiding in here at some point, but we don't really want to do that immediately if we can avoid it. Uh, so there is another crate here. Take one step into cover. I know where you are. Uh... Yeah, so these are good shots. Let's, uh... Oh, it's showing us exactly where the guys are there. Alright, oh, and you only had one bullet left, so that's all you got. These are mostly not dashers or anything, though. And it actually kind of looks like they're uh, headed for the advent troops rather than us. So I'm almost, since none of them are probably in range, I'm almost inclined to just, like, set up some overwatches. You'll be fine, It's nice how our troops are starting to have actual amounts of hit points. Here I come. I'm just kind of inclined to see whether these guys head for us or Advent before we start shooting them. I guess we could use overwatches anyway, but I will almost, almost rather just let, see where they go before we even set up overwatches. Back in. All right, another crate. Well, that's a little annoying. Alright, Lost, which way are you going? Alright, 
coming for us. Okay, so can anyone get to that crate? First question. Yes, but it will probably activate this pod. Can anyone get to this crate? No, I'm just not that worried about the lost and that pod didn't look as bad as it could. I think I'm actually okay moving her up and taking this crate and probably activating the pod. Wow, it didn't. That's ridiculously awesome. Alright, so can anyone get over to this other crate? Okay, so you can... Robot can... Mox can. Alright. So basically we just take some shots on the Lost with these guys, endeavor not to activate the other pod, and see who's left after uh, we run out of actions. Alright, Ranger, you have two shots. I'm going. Let's imagine we're sending Mox over that way. Actually, so Mox... What do your shots look like? No, your shots are... So it's the risk of missing a shot versus the risk of activating a pod. And I think I am more worried about activating the pod. So let's send him over here to... North Creek, no pod, and then we can clear these guys out. So this is guaranteed... Guaranteed here. There is weak as ever. And there. Alright, and then we'll have him fire first on this, Ranger fire second to give her the reload. Oh, got the execution. Nice. And then can throw on an overwatch. Reload. You know, I sh sh could 90% run up to here, but I actually just don't want to risk activating the pod. Reload. Got two more crates. Alright. So. I kind of want to just. We could take a turn setting up on this pod and try not to activate them. Um, and hope that crates don't get marked in a way that screws with us. But. I kind of like the idea of just, uh... Tactical movement. Trying to go on them this turn... ...to get better... ...some better action on them. So, it is hard to kill them through the building without using explosives, is one drawback. I just don't want to get... Screwed up by supply crates dropping and forcing us to run over and get them or clear out these guys. I mean, the pod did not look that scary, but it's still just like activating in a full cover when in a time where we don't want to use explosives is a hard sell. Maybe we could flamethrow through the window. Does that work very well? Let's activate him this turn. Or not. 
Okay, well, if we still can't see them there, let's just push up on them a little bit. And hope that... I'm sure there'll be some weird bananas activation here, but let, so let's take blue moves. Everyone overwatch. I wonder if we just killed these guys if it, uh... ...prevents us from, uh, getting the crate stolen out from under us. Alright, so we got Spectre, Purifier, Spectre Purifier Trooper, it looks like. Yeah. Spectre soaking up all of our Overwatch fire. Purifier running away to where we can't kill him. Man, this is being an annoying mission. Not too much danger of us losing anyone, but... Lots of uh, difficulty getting these crates. All right. God, there's so much health on those guys. So you could hit the Spectre and only the Spectre with a sword. You're one short of hitting that guy. You could run and gun up to here, which would not quite be a flank shot. And a lot of... I, I had not realized how many of my tactics are based on blowing up cover. It definitely uh, changes things when blowing up cover means spending more time killing these assholes. God, what am I doing? Okay, so... Do we want to try and get these crates? I'm guessing not. We could run and gun up to one of them. I mean, there's some, like, some good supplies, so if we don't need her to deal with this group... So we could go for, like, a frost bomb on them, but... My guess is that it, if we're going to summon a Lost Swarm, it'd be better to just blow the hell out of them. So let's just accept that we're going to summon another Lost Swarm to kill these guys, because Lost Swarms are not super scary. And just destroy this entire area. It's actually a plasma grenade, not a frag. You should, uh, try and keep up. Alright, so that opens up the swarm, but then these guys are both completely out in the open. So, 80% to kill the sp to hit the specter. But we could also dead-eye it, which is only... Mm, that's not ideal. Let's throw lightning hands on here just because it's free and this guy's got a lot of health. Well, okay, so we've got three bullets. We could go for the headshot here, but it... These aren't dashers. I don't think it's worth taking even a 10% chance of losing our shot on the Spectre. Nice. And did I hear a loot drop? Nope, that's just the sound they make, apparently. Alright, so this gives you a nice little flank shot on this yes. guy. Alright, so you've got 82. 
or a hundred to deal to uh, pull him up and deal six, or a hundred to go to him and deal six. So you're less critical. I think we're okay taking a ninety-five on a lost here. I did nothing. And that's why not. And there's your lesson about ninety-five is sometimes missing. Okay, so that purifier just ran the hell away. Alright, uh, actually, Reaper, we should have done this earlier. Get some hollow targeting on this guy. I have sight beyond vision. That works too. So this guy's back here, and I don't know if he can actually do anything about his period. Alright, we are at the point where I am comfortable committing to the run and gun over to this package. And kill some lost. You know that was good. We are going to be struggling with the issue that we've still got all these crates to deal with, and uh, one purifier left on the map, and a lost swarm in. So we're spreading out more than I'd like. Impressed yet? Running dry on ammo. Well, you've got a free action left. Oh, you can't move again, though, because it's uh, a run-and-gun free action. That's interesting. Who's your... Yeah, you don't have your teammate. Who still has actions? You have one, you have one, and that's it. All right. Reload. Overwatch and hope it doesn't make a purifying explorer on us. Well, so far we've only lost two crates, which is not too bad. Sad day. Alright. So hopefully this is the last of it. We just... Kill this purifier, kill the Lost Swarm, and are done. But I'm going to leave her close-ish to these other crates just in case it's not. Alright, so purifier's top priority. Um, I'd really rather not use explosives on him, though, if we can avoid it. Uh, so we can overdrive, wander over, shoot him from pretty close up. And then uh, that would shred his armor and someone else could finish him off. And, you know, it'll possibly kill him anyways. Ninety-five. Go for it. So then Dragonova can finish him off. Man, I'm never going to stop referring to her as Dragonova, am I? Or would Mox be a better person to finish him off? Uh, Mox has a high ground on these guys and can't move into the area. This is like... I'm 80% sure that's out of his explosion range. What's your shot on him just... Kind of just want to take this and not risk it. Okay, cool. Alright, now let's kill the Lost. It's Dasher, Dasher. Oh, he does deal uh, 5 to 6 now, so these are all great. There's one more in that building we briefly got vision of. The one in each of these buildings that we know of. Get the reload. Last one. They live no more. 
Alright, so we need one there and one there. Um, so that is... You don't have run and gun. So we can get you probable vision here. Uh, 85's alright. You're favored to kill both of these guys. All right, and that leaves hopefully only one enemy left on the map. 86. Um, so, and that's guaranteed to deal exactly six. Come on, mission over. Christ's sake. Whatever you say. Got it covered. Alright, so hopefully it's just like one more loss somewhere I don't know about. And not a whole nother pod on the map that we're going to stumble into at a terrible angle. It's a weird choice, given that there's one right next to you. It's very selfless of you. Oh, well that, that's a good idea, though. It's very strategic of you. It's uh, cold and calculating. Alright, so not quite flawless, because we uh, let that ranger get ganked by the Lost, but overall a very good mission. I think that might be the first time we've been hit by the Lost. Maybe we've, I think we've taken one or two damage elsewhere, but... We only destroyed, like, six buildings. I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like our Spark's starting to uh, get a little more competent after that first promotion. Hopefully it'll just keep feeling better. Oh, everyone's tired. Squad sight. Don't necessarily want my Reaper firing, but that's pretty interesting. Strike, melee attack, or heavy weapon? I'm into a melee attack. So who else tired? Okay, these three. Spark's not getting tired is kind of nice. And we got a ton of supplies. Ooh, and a P Illyrium core. P we got so much stuff. That's amazing. A bunch of autopsies that we have had available at various points, but, uh, you know, may or may not have... Uh, sold all of the corpses. Like, you know, Advent Trooper corpses, for example, that we really wish we had to build an exosuit. Although we're going to get powered armor pretty quick, and that'll be even better. Yeah, I, let, let's wait until we have powered armor available and then see what we want to spend our Illyrium cores on. Okay. Man, that is so much stuff. Need to kind of get my bearings after all that. So, in one more day, we'll actually have a decent squad to go on one of our missions. Um, so, in four days, we'll get the big attack. So, let's actually save people for that. Um, we do need to go on the... Uh, um, facility mission at some point to blow that up uh, to in order to not lose the game but I think we want to wait for our Reaper and do like that one in 10 days and instead save people so they're all ready to go on the uh, kill the assassin mission in 4 days 6 days on power armor and go on the assassin mission 2 days before we get powered armor that kind of sucks 
Can we? <laughs> so uh, we pull our engineer off of the resistance ring to extend this out, and then hopefully powered armor will wrap up first. It's a little, uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, let's build a lab. We've got a lot of technology to do. I almost never build labs in uh, XCOM, but... We've got a lot of science to do, and we have more engineers than scientists, so this feels like a useful thing to be doing with our time. So many dark events. Alright, constructing the shadow chamber. Another reason to have a lab, because there's all those plot missions that we'll have to put our normal tech on hold for to study them. Alright. So what are we doing? Might as well finish up this supply drop because we just had like a day left on it. And with it goes your opportunity at understanding the knowledge it contains. Alright, so then we could We've got Avenger Power and we've got Battle Sight. Um so we have made contact here. So we've got this facility mission available just whenever we want to pull the trigger. Um We've got the and we're we having some problems the with the Avatar project, but uh, to set back their work on the Avatar project. first, I, I think we want to do this covert action first. Man, do we want to just send people in now instead of waiting? Commander, I Six, five days on powered armor. Okay, so we'll definitely get powered armor before that. Still waiting for an assignment. I mean, we're not going to lose the game in the next 10 days. I feel like it, it's a like 30-day counter once this goes off. So as long as we don't lose that region, we should be okay. We also could potentially do some of the uh, plotline stuff once we've got our shadow chamber up in seven days. So I think it's better to just keep waiting and scanning Avengers elsewhere rather than... Course. Wait, get power armor up kill the chosen assassin, and then worry about the facility um, for not losing the game. Alright, uh, so we could do another Proving Ground project, but let's just wait until we have power and armor, because we don't want to spend any resources at all for three more days. Alright. Celestial Gauntlets, Warden Armor. Alright, so... <laughs> cool. Although similar in appearance. Ultrasonic Lure. Draw the loft to wherever the device is thrown. Any lost within sight of the target area will move to it and attack. Okay, that's cool. Might want to build... Uh... Yeah, we don't really care about that inspiration. We would much rather have a plasma rifle. Or we could do the plot stuff. Alright, let's resume this research for the moment and go build some stuff and we can change our mind in a minute. Alright, so can we build the armor? So we need 300 supplies for this. So we... and the black market is closed. So we can cancel our lab. We could cancel the shadow chamber. That seems like a bad idea. Closed for six weeks, and I don't know when that will end. We really need supplies. Do I actually cancel the shadow chamber to build warden armor? can't sell stuff at the black market to get it. We have a supply drop. How much is a supply drop? Supply drop is... we already picked it up.
Okay. and I'll get started, Commander. Commander, construction of this shadow chamber should allow us to better break down... Okay, so we could cancel construction of that. Data we've been recovering. I really want the word armor. We haven't taken much damage lately. But if we're going after the Chosen Assassin and doing this facility... We've got everything else we need for it. Yeah, I think we've got to cancel it, which is an insane choice, but Warden Armor is going to be so important for... Uh, taking on the chosen assassin that I think it's worth it. Like, we've got the facility. We we can do the alien data decryption to get another plot mission to hold off the Avatar project after that. And we'll just have to start building another shadow chamber as soon as we have the supplies because we can't access the black market. So this is a very unusual choice that I'm not super happy to be making, but... I think that's where we are. That gets us up to 241. And that gets us up to 391. And that gets us warden armor. This is our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect Oof. from a giant armor. Tough calls. We'll see how we end up feeling about that. So, that definitely, so since we made the choice of trading off some combat power for potential to advance the plot and stop the Avatar project, that makes me happier with this choice to go for choose alien data decryption over plasma weapons. quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. So... We can also build the two top... We only have one core. And Warsuit is unreal good. Uh, we won't have it in time for the Chosen mission, but we might have it in time for the uh, facility lead. Alright, so we just don't want you to accidentally staff the Resistance. Or, no, we're actually fine with the Resistance ring now, because we've got the armor... Can uh, get the healing rate up. Is anyone actually injured? One person. I like how they. Oh, one day. So we could actually potentially get her back. And hopefully neither of our troops will be captured on this mission. All right. So we are getting ready to go on the uh, uh, after the chosen. I think we've got everything in place. We've got forty-one supplies. So we could... We can't build anything. I mean, yeah, we, we could throw down one of these. But uh, for the most part, we've got all the big stuff. We chose to go for the Warden Armor. And uh, start on the Warsuit. Which, this may have been a dubious choice. Because we're, it won't be ready in time for the um, Chosen Attack. But I'm actually okay with that. This is a really good investment in our future. Um, and it's going to be a lot bigger of a power spike than any of the like getting a an ionic axe would be we had a soldier wounded and taken captive by the enemy during our most recent covert action command all right well I'm we'll coordinating with our allies to find out just what happened we've just received some new intel on the chosen commander 
Alright, Chosen Stronghold. Let's do it. Alright, so... I really want him back, but let's kill the person who captured him first. Alright, we're going to be thinking real hard about who we want to bring on this mission. Hidden entrance. Can only use it once. Uh, we won't get another shot to take out this one for good. Make sure our soldiers are prepared to take them down. So this is going to want to be the AS squad we can possibly bring. Um, so you are still lightly wounded, which is unfortunate. Um, the Reaper I would like to bring, but... Uh, oh, the Chosen is also weak to Reapers... But just, l let's save her for the facility in a few days. Um, because, uh... Sorry, try and finish some sentences here. Let's save her the, for the facility in a few days, because I have a feeling that this one is going to be more of, like, a big boss fight that's really combat-heavy. And the facilities tend to be a really good one to take your time with, scout around, isolate enemies. Um, I uh, think I'm happy bringing a second ranger on this one, because the uh, Chosen is vulnerable to melee attacks. So, uh, bringing a ranger and a templar seems really good. I wish we had our best ranger. Like, the fact that she's a day away from being healed is bad. We technically could have played around that by uh, putting one of our engineers in the infirmary sooner, but I didn't check all the numbers. What do we want you to do? Oh yeah, we already established this. We're going to give you Reaper and Arcwave, because that seems incredibly fun. Right, so let's just think real hard about making sure that everyone is, like, on absolute maximum best equipment and options here. You know, I think I'm actually going to uh, take a little bit of a break, um, take a little time to uh, futz around with the squad off camera, grab myself a drink, and just make sure I'm in uh, maximum best shape for our first mission to go after one of the Chosen. So, uh, go ahead and pause here for five minutes. And then we will be back with our assault on the Chosen Assassin's Stronghold. Thanks for watching, everyone.